Can you explain mm -hmm. to us what exactly is the Namibia Household and Expenditure Survey? Uh, mm, uh, Namibia Household Expenditure Survey is a survey, it's a national based survey, it's a mm -hmm. national household based survey which collects the information on, um, like it's saying, on expenditures and income on the Namibian people. Mm, income yes. on the Namibian people. Yes. Uh, why do we conduct this thing now? Why, why do we need this, in, this information? Okay. Um, okay, initially, you know, uh, the survey is uh, it's conducted, you know, to give uh, social economic indicators. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, in terms of, um, in mm. terms of, uh, you know, to assist better in, in, in terms of planning. Mm -hmm. you know and, uh, and and policy formulations i mean we can talk about about how how poor we are and we and, and we can talk about uh about uh, different income levels but if we don't know what the figures are mm -hmm. uh then it, it, uh, you know it will never assist us in planning mm -hmm. so this is initially wh why we conduct such a survey mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this is going to yeah. be the all right go ahead you want yeah, to add value actually yeah. i just like this one says it's really for to produce evidence based planning mm -hmm. information you know that when we are planning we need more evidence rather than just planning out of the air that's mm. really the main purpose of the survey. And then also to update the information because we've been doing that survey for the past years. Mm. So we just need to, we do it every five years. So then every five years we want to see where do we stand after five years. It's really kind of for evaluation and monitoring purposes. Of evaluation and monitoring purposes. Yes. We know it's going to be the fourth of, of, of its kind uh, that's going to take place this year. Uh, talk to us about some of the highlights of the previous uh, the, the income surveys. Uh, the previous income surveys, uh, it's the one give us more, like we based, uh, we look at the household income. And then I think maybe what normally you don't get really from other surveys. We mm. do a lot of surveys, especially the, we determine which households are poor. Mm. So for example, which are severely poor, like uh, from the surveys, um, past surveys, like in 2009 and 10, we have about 10% of the household we are severely poor, mm. meaning that they, they spend the whole uh, income just on food. Because that's what we normally, when they say poor household, it means that more than 80% of their income is spent on food only. The, in mm. other words, they don't left with any other money or any other things to spend on anything else. Mm. So that's one of the highlights. And then also one of them, I think the key, uh, one of the indicators is the Gini coefficient. Actually, it's a, it's a statistical measure, mm. which uh, check whether how the income is distributed, whether it's equally distributed or unequally distributed. And then from our previous surveys, start 93, you can see that uh, it has been, 93 has been 0.7. And then uh, for 2003 and 4 has been uh, 0 0.6. Mm -hmm. And then the last one was uh, 0.59, almost 0 0.6. And then this one tells us that the, the income in Namibia is unequally distributed. I mm -hmm. think that's one of the highlights from this survey. 